Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing some 1-2 cash games, buying for this game is $200. So we got kings here, so this is hijack open, we threw out the kings. So you call 942. Go for small bet here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like small, I usually like split between small and 75 depending on the board. This, These are these boards I'm trying to get a little bit better out of what I should be using. Um, out of position without a club, I think we're just going to get this in here on the flop. Oh, we maybe raise like some queens or jacks or a flush draw here. In position, we'll do some more flatting, but we just hate to see it go check, check, particularly when I don't have a club. So, as jacks. And looking for a good hold here. Oh, I'm jack on the river. Oh, we get the dream spot. Absolutely cooler there. And drill a queen on the turn here. So, top set, I don't hate the idea of checking, but I think our range is going to want to go small bet pretty often here. And we can go right about 20% pot here. So, like on these new high cards, a lot of the time, I think we go really small. We go small bet. So just getting started in the session here, a little under an hour in. Not a good start down, about three and a half buy-ins. Hopefully this top set's going to help, though. Got to fade some stuff. All right, so fade the ace high flush drop. So we have open here, three with the ace jack. See the call. Top, top, pretty good start here. Jack, nine, six, two hearts. We're a bit deeper here as well. They lead for pot, which I'm not going to lie, is a bit scary. This player isn't three-bet or four-bet much, so I mean, they could maybe even have some queens and kings sometimes. That is a beautiful turn card, though. So as long as they don't have a boat, <laughs> it's a good one. Uh, if they check, pretty clear value bet here for us. And if they bet, do I ever raise? Obviously some bad rivers. I think I'm just going to call here. Beautiful river card. Love that one. So if they jam, we snap it off. If they bet a non all size, I think we go for a raise, hoping that they did have some queens and kings glass, maybe some king jack here. Two of diamonds could not ask for a better river. And if they check, I think I'm going to jam with two flush draws missing. So that's 110. And we'll go for the rest here. Going to be really gross if he has like nines or sixes full <laughs> or jack nine suited. But uh, there's only one jack nine suited remaining, which is good. All right, guys. I think we want to go for the rest. As king jack. Let's go. What a sick turn to make sure you get all the money too. Queen's over here, so this can kind of go either way, hijack versus under the gun. I'm just going to flat this time, jamming's fine too though. And then this flop, we're going to be jamming if they bet. Pretty wet board here. If he has jacks or tens in range sometimes, he'll probably stack off with those. He just rips it. We're just going to call here as ace-jack of diamonds, slight favorite. And queens are good. So we have button open here, threw at the ace-five suited. See the call from T. Clark. Go for a bet here, king, queen, jack. Uh, turn the club draw. I don't think if I ever want to consider check jamming here. Or just bet myself. I think I'm going to check and then jam if he bets. Not sure this is good, but it's what we're going to go for. Snaps it off. Two pair. Got 25%. Drill the club on the river, though. So it's a board pairing club, but it's a jack. So it still works out for us. So not 100% sure on that check jam. I'd imagine it's better than check call. I just don't know if I should just barrel the turn myself. But anyways, get to there. Okay, we're going to flop a set. So this is open, flat, big line squeezes. We flop a set. Um, I think just going to go for call here in position. And then on the turn, I think I'd consider jamming here. So checks go for value here. And if you check jams, we call. And that's a bad river card. Can I go for value of the set? I think I'm going to check back here. If he leads, it's pretty annoying. But the problem is you can have like queens here. Um, hard to get worse to call. Spades do miss. Probably doesn't have kings. I'm going to make a check here, but maybe supposed to go for value. Ace king. Decent flop for sevens. <laughs> Open, flat, we call. Flop of boat. Probably just going to check call this one. Um, actually, do I maybe check raise? All right, I'm just going to overcall. I don't hate check raising there, but it's bet and call is really trying to target one player having a jack, but decided to just call. And then club coming out of the river, I'm going to try to check raise the river, or just bet out. I'm going to try to check raise the river. So we're going to raise this on the end. And let's see, calls the king high flush. Very good there. Jack's over here. Given their shorter stack size, can I just rip this? I think we can. Right, we're going to jam here. 
Get it in as Ace King flipping. Nobody's got a club. That's good. Good turn and good river. All right, we're running good. Let's go. <laughs> Queen over here, small bet open. We call bets flop small. Call four diamonds turn. If you turn bets, I won't shock you. See over bets here. We just be calling. So it does go for the over bet. We're gonna call. And then river. A little bit scary here if he jams because 10 9 does come in, ace 10, which are gonna be some of those bluffs over bets. Now, once he checks, <sighs> trying to think what we do here. Can I get worse to call enough? We go for half. Not 100% sure. These are spots I wanna get better at too, is how do I respond in these spots? And then if he check jams, it's gross. <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure here. If I'm supposed to play jams or if I'm supposed to do like smaller bets like this, because it's just like so when he over bets there, it's usually like kind of polar or pretty polar where it's like really good hands or really good draws. So we're gonna have some of our draws I want to bluff here. So I have to have some value that bets, and I think this one makes sense. Hoping as Queen Jack mostly. So we do get some value there in the end. And interesting. Pair in a flush draw with the open and straight draw. Or back to our straight draw, sorry. I think just gonna play for a check call. Nice way to make sure I can still have spades in range here, not just check raising all of them. And five turn check. Turn is interesting. Do I ever check jam double flush draw with a pair? So we can get worse to call if they have like two high cards in the overs. Maybe get some huge folds. I don't know. They pot it. This actually makes me a little bit more inclined to maybe do this. Is this is this right? So a pair in spades. Um, no, I think I'm just going to call here. This is maybe wrong, though. I actually maybe can just jam this. And then River, I'm going to play really honest. So we River the flush. And then obviously Snap call if they bet. And 6-5 of spades. Well, wow, that's sick. We both had a pair and a spade draw. I'm going to check here against the limp. Flop two pair, lead out. But I'm just going to call two pair here. Seven turn, check. Given their stack size, if they like pot this, I think I'm just going to jam. For a smaller size, I think I still can maybe jam this. If we call, it's like thirty-three fifty-nine back. Limped pre, their ace X might call off. Combo draws call off. This is a kind of a big jam, but we're gonna go for it. Trying to target an ace, an ace and a draw. They have king, queen, jack ten. Sometimes people do stuff like that here too. So we see the call by ace ten. We got seventy-two percent, and we do hold nice boat on the river. So open, defend here, check. Well, the second nut flush draw can kind of go either way. I'm just going to go for a call here. If they bet the turn, pick up the combo draw on deep, I actually might check raise this one. Yeah, I'm going to go for this as my bluff. Oh, this is what sucks. Oh, this is where we don't get to see the reverse is tilting. So even though this happens sometimes, I don't expect this very often. And then now, as played, we're going to be folding here, I think. What is this? 250 to 465. It's actually pretty close at this point. Uh, all right, we'll fold. Open, three bet, cold call. We'll flat ace jack suited here. Flop the ace, ace, five, three. All right, ace jack suited here. Going to go ahead and call. Six on the turn, check. Oh, this is kind of tempting to jam this. Let's see if we call. I actually think we can. So potentially with the flush draw. No. All right. I think I would jam ace queen. I'm trying to think about ace jack here. All right. I'm just going to call beautiful river card off suit jack. <laughs> Makes my life incredibly easy. Ace king. Wow. He is super lucky. <laughs> what a river card. All right. Ace king. So we're going to raise the limper, get called, flop top top. Leads for pot. This is such a dry board. I think I'm just going to call here. And then four on the turn. Going to be some four liners that come on the river. I think I still just call and then call any rare unit the four liner comes in. Hopefully, it doesn't have king queen. It's going to be incredibly tilting. And it is eight six. All right, so these are six of the bluff. And East King's good. Pace an over bet here. Call. So we call flop, call turn. Check. Uh, block a lot of missed draws here. Missed stray draws, missed flush draws. So if he decides to jam here, I'm not going to be calling. To be fair, he probably wants to use more of like his 10-9. It's not a club, but I think still folding here. I'll have two pairs in this run out. Ace-5, Ace-4. 
a seven. I might even just check call the flop. Could have jack seven too. Um, so call with more of like those two pairs and then fold the single one, especially when I block at least some draws here. If you decide to go three quarters, it gets a little bit interesting, but if he faces over bet, we're just gonna give up here. So we'll fold the river. All right, YouTube, that wraps up another successful cash game session and a quite eventful one here. So seven hours of play, 2,830 hands, plus 1,176. Also cleared a $330 rakeback chest for about plus 1,500 in profit today. Pretty sick considering we were down 800 at one point, I think like halfway through the session even. So hope you guys enjoyed today's hands and the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have linked to my Twitch channel in the description below.